Well, so politics at times can be so easy to predict. As America turns on Joe Biden, so does the media now. It is a phenomenon that before Biden was sworn into office, I don't want to gloat, but I predicted this would happen. It took a year, but now everything is playing out just like I said it would. Joe Biden has produced epic failure after epic failure. His ineptitude has become so unbearable. It has become so crystal clear. He can never win another election again. So what happens? Well, the media is now launching Operation Oust Biden, a plot I warned would unfold just over a year ago that warning came. They have turned on him, the media has. Not to defend your freedom, by the way, but to ensure that you never get it back. Just watch them in action. Our new NBC News poll suggests Mr. Biden does need a reset because he's lost his identity a bit. He's no longer seen as competent and effective. An overwhelming majority of Americans believe the country is headed in the wrong direction. President Biden is walking a tightrope. In addition to flagging enthusiasm in the base, he faces eroding support among independents. Voters use the words divided, negative, lost, bad, and downhill. That kind of presidential approval rating leads to a shellacking for the party in power. All right, so here's what's at play. If they want to keep you under the thumb of big government, they being the Democrat and their media henchmen, the leftist media knows it needs a new candidate for 2024. The worst president in history is now unelectable, and so is the worst vice president in history. So the devious media will now set out to destroy them both. You watch with the sole goal of finding another oppressive candidate. Here's why this ouster from the inside must be done in the Democrats' minds. Just look at Joe Biden's new poll numbers. These are staggering. His latest approval rating sits at just 39%. You have to wonder who in the world the 39% are. They have to be living under a rock to approve of this president right now. But here's the scary number for the left. 50% tell pollsters they strongly disapprove of Joe Biden's performance. Strongly. It's why right now, a Harvard poll, which always leans left, has President Trump beating Joe Biden 46 to 40 percent. And President Trump crushes Kamala Harris 49 to 39 percent. It is easy to see why just today, on the verge of potential World War III, for crying out loud, with Russia threatening to invade Ukraine, China threatening to invade Taiwan, what does Joe Biden do? He does nothing. No public events, well, except, of course, for this, a trip to get ice cream. The world is falling apart thanks to his weakness, and Joe Biden gets ice cream. Look at that, a double scoop there, old Joe. What they are doing, folks, is hiding them in plain sight. Make it look like he's out and about, but with no chance for him to screw it up, short of tripping and falling while scarfing down his chocolate chocolate chip. At the same time, Old gravy brain there is eating his ice cream. His hired liar, Jen Psaki, har had a hard time excusing her boss's empty schedule. So the president has nothing on his schedule today aside from the PDB. Can you shed any light on, on how he's spending his day? Uh, well, let's see. Um, this morning, I think he had some policy meetings, uh, also a PDB meeting. Um, he, um, later this afternoon, uh, I think, is doing some remarks review. I, there are some days that we spend some time uh, doing internal meetings and discussions uh, with policy experts, with policy leaders, um, and that's, that's what's happening today. <laughs> oh, well, well, this morning he, he woke up and he had pancakes and then uh, he went back he watched a little TV and then he had a mid-morning snack and we're about ready to put him to bed pretty soon that's when he'll have his warm milk oh and don't forget he had ice cream earlier in the day too he's hard at work Joe Biden is the fact is Joe Biden's weakness his feebleness his love of ice cream well it's all glaringly obvious the media can no longer ignore his feebleness and weakness and his love of ice cream <laughs> neither can leaders of the Democrat Party this is Majority Leader Steny Hoyer. Do you think your frontliners should be running as Biden Democrats? And I want every, president? Rachel, I want every Democrat uh, to run as Democrats who deliver. 
That's always he's saying. Biden doesn't deliver. She asked him, should they run as Biden Democrats? He couldn't say it. You see, Democrats can't even publicly back Joe Biden right now. That's how bad this has all gotten. And here's my next prediction. These revelations, these new ones that I've been telling you about now, spelled out in the new book, Red Handed, by Peter Schweitzer, that the Biden family received $31 million from shady business deals with Chinese Communist Party leaders, linked to, by the way, the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. Well, this, this could actually be the anchor that takes Joe Biden down. Schweitzer says he can prove that this Chinese profit center for the Biden family continued even when Joe Biden became president. Ladies and gentlemen, if that is true, and I have really no reason to believe it wouldn't be true, well, then this would be an impeachable offense. And guess who takes Joe Biden down? The Democrat Party. To save the Democrat Party and keep control of all of you. And they just might take Kamala Harris out with them because she's no use to them anymore. She's just as much as a disaster. So here's the reality. We as a party, as Republicans, as conservatives, we are actually better with Joe Biden as president in 2024, provided we take back either the House, Senate, preferably both this year, because Joe Biden would be the best, easiest candidate to run against. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.